Swatch, the world's largest watchmaker, has finally announced its answer to smart watches, an analog watch called the Bellamy that supports mobile payment. At an event Wednesday morning in Shanghai, Swatch CEO Nick Hayek said the company is partnering with China's Union Pay and Bank of Communications to develop the watch. Unlike other multifunctional devices, Bellamy only does two things: tells the time and pays your bill. I have my swatch here on my wrist. I'm just here, and then I have to pay. I don't have to pull out the credit card. I have my normal swatch watch. Nobody knows that this is a credit card. So then I just approach. Transaction is done, and this works without the battery. So even if the battery would not work, it's a normal swatch watch. And if somebody would steal it, you would immediately see it. Your name is not on the product, so it has all advantages、uh, against the credit card. China, the largest market for Swiss watchmaker, is the first country to launch the Bellamy. Swatch chose China because of people's quick adaptation to new technology. China is important because you have 1.3 billion people, and you have、uh, people that are very open. And they change their habits. They are curious. They travel around. Costing just ninety-five dollars, customers can get a simple watch either at a Swatch store or through a bank of communications branch. The payment system can be used globally, but in order to activate it, they'll need to have a credit or debit card from the partner bank. To many people's surprise, Swatch was a pioneer in the smartwatch industry. In 2004, it released a smartwatch called Paparazzi with Microsoft, but the short battery life made the company rethink of its strategy. We want to stay away from that connectivity to a cloud or the internet because we don't want that you lose control of your data. You already are totally under control with your mobile phone or your iPads. It follows you everywhere. People know where you go, what you do. They try to find out your habits. We don't want that this happens with the watch. Swatch says the Bellamy will also be launched in Switzerland and the U.S. by early next year.